Hey guys, Izzy from Endless RV, and I'm out here with Theodore Belko97 on Instagram. And behind us, we have a piece of Numar history. All the woodwork is original. This video is sponsored and brought to you by the Ultimate Weekly Planner. Many people are overwhelmed by this schedule. The Ultimate Weekly Planner brings clarity to life, resulting in more time for the people and things they love. When life is prioritized, we find meaning in everyday activities. And more importantly, why should people buy this planner? Well, my mom makes them, so if you want to support something great, then you should buy it. So if you want to pick up your planner, pick it up at studio331.co. We will put the link below. So we are here with a 1996 London Air. Theodore, can you tell us who you are for the subscribers? <laughs> so my name is Theodore Hostetler and my grandpa is Malin Miller who used to own Newmar. And this is his demo unit from 96. This is, was the top of the line unit. This is before the King Air. Cost about $300,000 back in the day. And this has got all the bells and whistles of the day. It's a pretty neat coach. So my grandpa would have sold it probably uh, 2000 or a little before and then my parents found it again uh, maybe five or six years ago and, and bought it back and they used it for a while and so we still have it around because it's a pretty neat piece so this thing has a generator in it right yes so this has got a 10,000 uh, Cummins owned generator this is a new upgraded one but it's similar to what it would have had in it and this thing slides out but I don't think it's been slid out in a while so we're not going to try that <laughs> And this is pretty neat here, just a little thing down here. We've got this step, this license plate step here. It goes like that, then you can step on there and clean your windshield or move Now that's wipers. awesome. That is so <laughs> cool. anybody knows if you're RVing, like it's all kind of carcass and stuff going on in the windshield. And you're always like, you know, mm -hmm. trying to, so that's a pretty cool yeah. idea. So here we just got a, a compartment for more of your dirtier stuff so it's like a sealed compartment it puts like oil and antifreeze and stuff in there uh here's your fuel fill and this is a dual fuel fill so you can fill from both sides i'm not sure how big the tank is but this thing this thing will pretty much beat any modern motorhome as far as how far it can go this thing does really good so here's a really neat thing that my grandpa invented this is supposed to be flush but it's a little older so we'll give it some grace but this thing as you open the door that thing flips out and then it hooks onto that right there so that your door stays open. So that's pretty neat How and it comes cool in that? handy. This was pre like the tension yeah, hinge exactly. days. Yeah, exactly. So you just push that open like that and then you can close your door. For the first bay here, we just got uh, all the way past through storage. There's no sliding tray or anything. But uh, these doors, they're, they're kind of dated, but they're cool. So they flip up, which is nice. They get out of the way. But one cool thing is that this is just my grandpa's motorhome had this. It was like a demo thing. So you push this button and it sucks it. You take it into like two or three inches within it closing and this button sucks it in the rest of the way. So you bring it down here and then you just push that button and it'll take it in the rest of the way. Okay. It's it's pretty neat, but I don't know how useful it is. But that must have been like a big, big cool thing. Back yeah, in, a big park, back in yeah. The day, like, <laughs> this gets sucked in. Yeah, for sure, for sure. So in this bay, we do have a slide out tray and this is where the, the Dometic cooler is. That doesn't go all the way through, it just comes out on this side because the other side, the bay doors aren't as tall. And here we have more storage. This thing, another slide out tray. This would have had a pegboard in front of it, but this is just where your tanks are. You can access that. And here is a uh, sewer hose storage. You can put that in there. So back here's your engine access. And this isn't nearly as much room as the newer ones. The newer ones, the doors are a lot wider, but you can get to a lot of stuff uh, through that. And how much miles does this have on it? 130,000 miles. It's still going down the road. Yep. Yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. So here's your radiator. That's where that guy is. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention. So as you can see, like a normal, a new Newmar motorhome would have your back cap and then there would be like a, a trim piece here where they come together and you screw them together. But this is all fiberglass together with the roof as well. So you just see it's just 
that's your guttering there, that's true. Right. But everything else is just fiberglass together so you have a nice clean look and yeah, it's pretty neat looking. So in this bay we have a power cord reel. This isn't the original power cord reel, but it did come with a power cord reel originally, but this is a new upgraded one. And then here's your wet bay. So, um, I mean, not a whole lot going on here, but basically your basic wet bay. That's an upgraded hose reel there. So right there's your uh, hot water heater exhaust and your access to get to it. And then right here is just more storage and these all fold down so that you can get to it uh, while the slide out is out. And then on the last bay door here, you have your propane. And then you have your other uh, fuel fill under there. And then here you have a uh, driver's side door that you can access in there. And then you can do your jacks from being standing out here uh, right up here is your jack panel, so that's pretty sweet. That's though. cool. Yeah. And the steps getting in, like mm -hmm. a belt right in, love it. So say you're going down the road and you see one of these. How are you going to know this is a genuine Malin Miller, like this was his? What, what's the giveaway? So the giveaway is right here, this stripe. So on a normal London Air of this year, this stripe will go and go down, kind of matching the, the hood line here. And my grandpa didn't want that. He said, why would I want a motorhome that's plowing into the ground? <laughs> he wanted it to fly in the air. So his stripe goes up like that. So I'll give them a picture of another one that has the stripe going down, but yeah. So this is it. This is the one and only. Yep, yep. Awesome. <laughs> so now we're on the inside of this gem and Theodore is going to take us around. One thing I do want to mention for those of you that know us, there's a lot of carpet in here. So <laughs> Izzy's cringing at that, but besides that, I think you're really going to enjoy this. So uh, it's, you can tell it's dated when you look at the dash. There's a, there's a lot of old stuff going on. But one thing you'll notice over there, that screen is an original rear view camera it's like an old tube screen but uh they still use that thing yeah um, i remember that from you know cars drive it you know yeah. the way the heat yep. the heating yeah system, that's funny yeah it's pretty neat it, this thing is actually really nice to drive the way how low it is how aerodynamic it is this thing drives really nice so i just want to mention that this isn't all original new carpet uh new lighting these are new lighting all the woodwork is original but all the furniture is new as well. So all this leather stuff, it would have been fabric, couch and stuff. New seats in the front. The wallpaper too, that's new. So they kind of freshened it up, but it's still in really good shape. So the kitchen here is all original. Even the fridge, still the original fridge and it still works like a champ. Uh, flooring, that's original too. So this thing has pocket doors. All the way. And then the bathroom. The only thing that changed in the bathroom is the wallpaper. That flooring's original, the shower's original, same toilet, everything's same in here. I can't believe that that flooring's original. <laughs> <laughs> I can yeah, tell. That's pretty neat. So this is a single slide unit, so there's no slide outs back here, so it's a little tight, but it's, it's cozy too. The carpet would have gotten changed back here in the walls. And then, forgot to mention, the ceiling is still original, all carpet. So one really dated thing in here is this cassette player here and you can listen to the radio or cassettes and you can play it throughout the whole RV and then right here there's a generator start and stop button so that's pretty cool you can do it right from bed so thank you Theodore for that little tour of history it's pretty awesome that we had the opportunity to come out and check this out guys in the comments below let us know what you think I mean this thing is awesome you're not going to see this at a dealership you got to come to Napa to see something like this let us know if you know anybody that has one of these if you thought it was cool Share it if you're into the vintage uh, RVs and really a piece of RV in history. Check out Theodore on Instagram. Where are you at? Uh, Bilko97 on Instagram. And how about on YouTube? Theodore Hostetler. And to the left of us, we're going to put our RV DIYs as well as our RV walkthrough playlist. And for myself, Theodore, MJ is on the camera. We thank you guys for watching and we'll see you on the road. <laughs> <laughs>